Recovery and hazmat teams are on the scene of an explosion along Omaha's riverfront. One man is dead, another is trapped inside a tanker, presumed dead. The explosion happened at the GE Rail facility near 2nd and Hickory around 1.15 this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Craig has the night off. We have live team coverage of today's explosion. Emily Zink is live with witness accounts, but we begin with Kelly Bartnick live at the scene with the latest information. Kelly? Jenny, the recovery mission does continue tonight here. If we take a look down the street, this is the view from 3rd and Hickory. You can see dozens of firefighters there remaining. Many of them are, as you mentioned, in hazmat suits as they are preparing and taking on toxic fumes and flammable chemicals to recover the second victim in this afternoon explosion. Emergency crews were called after 1.30 here following reports of an explosion at a rail yard tanker. A two-person cleaning crew was in that explosion. It knocked one man off the tanker and trapped the other inside. One victim died at the hospital. The other is still inside the tanker tonight. Crews are waiting for those toxic conditions to improve before they go in. Firefighters say there was only smoke when they arrived. People here where it happened, give a different account. I wouldn't call it a ball. It looked more like a torch, like a, a propane torch, just shooting straight up in the air. It was real violent, real quick, and then it just went right back down. Initial readings of the hazardous materials inside the car precluded us from going in at this time, so we are waiting for uh, the flammable limits to, uh, to go down so that we may go in and, and extricate the second victim. Crews are working, they say, with BNSF and OSHA as they identify those chemicals and get, wait for those fumes to go down. At the height of the operation, we're told about 30 firefighters responded. Now, again, just to recap here, a two-men rail tanker cleaning operation uh, was interrupted and hurt this afternoon by an explosion just after 1 o'clock. One man is dead. Another is not recovered, still inside that tanker, but presumed dead here this evening as authorities wait to make that final assumption to get into the tanker. Neither identities have been released yet. Reporting live at 3rd and Hickory, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News. The workers involved were employed by Nebraska Rail Car Cleaning Services. The company's attorney, Warren Witted Jr., issued a statement saying Nebraska Rail Car Cleaning Services are cooperating fully with all investigators involved to figure out what happened. At this point, we don't even really know what happened. Witted added, these people are hardworking and our sympathies go out to the families. General Electric Capital Rail Services operates the rail car repair shop where the explosion happened and says it's sending investigators to Omaha to assess the situation. In a statement, the company said we are focused on the safety of those in the shop and our thoughts and sympathies are with those who are affected. People who live near the scene tell us it sounded like a bomb going off. It did not take long for lights and sirens to take over their neighborhood. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink continues our live team coverage with that story. Emily? Well, Jen, people in the area say they're used to loud noises. They live next to train tracks, but neighbors tell me this noise was unlike anything they've ever heard. One homeowner says she was at home with her toddler when she heard the boom. She feared it was something to do with her boyfriend's auto body shop just down the street. He tells me he was in the garage of the shop when he heard the explosion. His first instinct was it had something to do with their home. Neighbors were in shock to learn the explosion came from the rail yard next to their South Omaha neighborhood. Well, a big bomb, like a bomb went off. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, it shook a little bit. It, I mean, it was a lot louder than usual, so, and it like rattled to the point where like a few things were like moving, but nothing fell off. But I just heard this loud bang noise, and I just thought it was a regular train too, nothing serious, and. As reporter Kelly Bartnick was mentioning, that rescue effort is still going on. It's a recovery effort down there. In the, you see in the distance, one of those black rail cars have been what firefighters in the rescue squad have been focusing on. Chief Battalion Chief Tim McCaw tells us they'll probably still be here for hours as they work to recover that man. Reporting live in South Omaha, Emily Zink came to be Action 3 News. OSHA's Omaha office says it is actively investigating this incident. Tonight at 10, we will talk to OSHA's area director about the explosion. For updates throughout the night, visit our website, kmtv.com.